what is the practical values that when you're doing the web 2.0 Okay, for example, I'm gonna take the example of me doing this Chinese little kids, little monk, uh, what they do because this flower doesn't bloom, I regen. It didn't say regen, it says I become. Anyway, when I explained it to you on the paperwork that I typed on the website, I said that you thought that it was a common sense. You go to my website, you click on YouTube, my channel, you see that someone did a channel. You thought this is a uh, intuitive that you go to his website, you go to his, her YouTube channel has a different tab. You know what tab is? Where you find in my website listing. You thought there is a pain interest on top, a blogger on top, a normal. So you click on the blogger, you look at me daily update on the thing that just flashing in like a news flash. That's one of the picture in Joomla. Right now I'm not doing Joomla, but I'm telling you there's a, a function called the news flash. It just means the first post on, on top and they're always staying there like COVID-19 is happening in somewhere in the south of China breaking out, it's dangerous, don't go there, you know. Like a warning. Now, you come to my YouTube channel, you're seeing the ping interest, you see seeing the Google blog and click in it. So you start to see pages and one day you decide you will join your pages and see how you do the function of a different kind of social media. Pages is not a uh, super popular in so many degree of you know people's life. But let's say you become skillful in pages. So far you become skillful, you like the function, you like the search images. Another tool let's say if we don't talk about the social media is like Facebook, Instagram, Google Blogger or Pinterest, it could be Yahoo Answer. What do I do with the Yahoo Answer? One time Nick Alvin just broke. So I went to Yahoo Answer and I typed in the, the, the problem of the oven, the small oven. And the oven just say, you put a salt in, hit it up 10 minutes, shut it out next day. And it worked. It's something that the player, I think, inside can stuck, can, can come out. And this Nick, he went to find out oh. this hammer just <laughs> the whole afternoon i have nothing but a hammer hitting on this small oven so anna i went to yahoo answer and typing something in the box and how do you fix this and it's showing up that you just put salt in and hit it up 10 minutes and you leave it and i and next day that thing is coming out so this thing enhancing your life that you're solving a challenge in your real practical life of this of the online online environment online environment doesn't mean you have to have a tool you don't have a social media social media is like you become happy if you interact with people most time you want to interact with the real human not me with the et on telepathy or birds outside every single day and talking non-stop most of you want to have friends most of you feel happier if you feeling you connected through the media to talking to some people even you talking to like a general public or some kind of doctors will be around. If you're like talking out loud, part of you will not feel so stressful out anymore because your problem will be somebody will trying to solve it for you uh, as a mentality if you're doing the blogger. Now, if you're doing this a day in life, you have a reflection, you join a campaign from the UK and you bring some awareness to the people, you compare how they live their life, how you live your life, so you participate in an online campaign. This is still part of an online environment that you're participating in. It's a part of, a, it's not social media, but it's a part of online. Everyone get it together. You feel you belong to, you feel you have a language. Sometimes you leave a message, you see somebody reply to you, and they click yes, and then they like it, you don't like it. You know, some kind of exchange. You actually, you care about those small tiny icons on the Facebook? You want me to click on it? If you join me on my Facebook, I click on it. Like a, the heart, the you pose, somebody see you, has someone hugging heart and oh, this little thing you care about it so this entire online environment where you're conducting you think the little kids little monk if they growing up having these resources is how fast you know how efficient you play a video game so how efficient you're doing a google blogger and and if it's not there where you should be you know pinterest you click on it you open a browser you see if the 
uh, if the the cover album changed the photo, if the description changed the the title word, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you you just bored and you spend like five minutes online. You don't know what to do about your life, but you got inspired to do something. If you see the interest of the photo, and a photo, and click down and see every other photo, compare look like a beauty pageant means to you. Let's say you like this online media. Uh, uh, no, public media, like a mainstream media, you know, beauty pageant, it's some kind of thing about fashion you learn. And then one day you learn about Anna said, how you wash your hand, don't get dirty, don't touch your eyes, your nose, your mouth, and wash with this alcohol wipe a thousand times. Like, keep washing your four limbs, don't be impaired, keep looking at and, and be conscious of your hands not going to your eyes. You know, that kind of things. Let's say you become awareness, you grow healthier. You grow more knowledge, you grow more stable, you grow more like you focus on the important thing, not a hard cut, and you grow to the saying where you can input your community and one day you're building up your own life through these resources if you find yourself more happy or fulfillment of the knowledge. Sometimes people like to have more knowledge base. You learn something called the Taipei tap water factory. What is that? So you search your own country and you listen into the law and somebody does law, somebody does medicine, somebody does librarian, somebody does do what point two point oh. So you finding out there's a lot of things that in your life you start to expose something completely different from what you used to be. And when you compare yourself to another set of people if they never exposed to this online environment, you will find out the kids they talking different, they don't smile, they are not as happy, or they don't know where to find help. And when people don't know where they, they know how to find help, what happened to them? Depressed, anxiety, and they just sit home doing nothing. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have in this online environment where you're doing this called blogger, connect to YouTube, connect to Pinterest, something so many update 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 information people feeling some kind of energy bring up and bring up bring up sometimes music sometimes ice skating you have a moment and a thing that you start to see a different aspect of life i say and i go to treasure hunt and if you start to believe in this movie can have another domain in your own the monopoly right then you will figure out that you have some hope in life finance doing you know possibility you know life hope just that give you a different brightness of your smile on the weekend maybe you look different you motivate yourself different you start to learn professional language different you might even learn a different language and you go to another town of uh, traveling because you like to travel you know what i mean you want to keep yourself healthy you know you start to see your skin glowing or you're getting old you feel if you want to you know do something with with your life that you can see more you know attraction to other people you know you will see every walk of your life that being uh improve your life quality that's the reason you're doing web to pony oh yes is to bring the knowledge base into more classroom online resources to kids to a lot of people who can benefit to that influence you understand so yeah